All right, guys, how's it going? So I've been making some videos recently where, I, you know, I've touched on Born Again Joyce, uh, Paul Joyce from the, the Times newspaper, great journalist. You should always listen to what he's got to say about Liverpool Football Club. Often gets stuff wrong, no? It's allowed. Uh, but he's been very adamant about some things in the past, big, big things concerning immense transfers at Liverpool Football Club uh, and was completely off target with them, OK? Um, not criticism of him, just pointing out that even the best can get things wrong. Um, but uh, I'm calling him Born Again Joyce at the moment because he's born again, you know, since Michael Edwards has come back to the club. Uh, he, uh, he's, he, he can't shut him up. And there's more leaks from Anfield, uh, you know, since uh, Edwards has come back than there was leaks on the Titanic in 1912. Some might say that's a little bit dangerous. Um, you know, some, you know, people will assume that it's Michael Edwards, but we have to uh, remember here that Richard Hughes is coming into the club. And if you were Michael Edwards, you would um, introduce people to people and maybe it's Richard Hughes that could be the one chirping away and not Edwards. Um, but it's certainly, you know, Joyce is connected to people that run the club on a day-to-day -day basis, always has been, uh, and he is born again. Um, so we keep an eye on uh, on what Joyce has to say, but I don't want you just to, you know, just to assume that it's Michael Edwards, which is kind of what I have been doing, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, but, you know, Richard Hughes, he, Edwards is going to say to his pal, all right, this is Paul, all right, oh, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, if you need anything, just give me a ring. Maybe he's over, overdoing it a little bit, if that is the case. It just seems to be too much stuff. Like, for example, how did Joyce know exactly what Ruben Amarim's contract release clause is now? Right, Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah, and David Ornstein have touched on the release clause, maybe lower. Right, but Joyce bang on 17 million, not approximately around 17 million. Ah, fucking know these things. How would he know that? The only people that could know that is someone trying to negotiate a deal to have him, Amarim, released. Now, do you remember, fuck it, when was that video? I did a video on here about, um, did I do a video on here or was it Fabrizio Nositolio? Now, uh, listen, Fabrizio Nositolio is someone that helps on my channel. It's not Fabrizio Romano. It's not a nickname I give him. Look back, Fabrizio Nositolio. Um, it might have been Fab. Might have been. We've got our own Fabrizio. We have. Go, look on the channel. Look for the thumbnail that's got... Fabrizio there, might have been him. But what we do know, you, know, we, you should pay attention to him actually, um, is that Liverpool some time ago had talks in Madrid with Ruben Amarim's representative or representatives or whatever, allegedly. Can't remember who it was. I think it was Hulk Hogan. Can't remember. Um, so we know that we know that Amarim's always been in there. We know that. And one of the things that the fans have been saying about Amarin is, well, well FSG won't pay that thing. Do you know what? FSG is getting slaughtered on there today. Some people on there today that are just like, ugh, uh, you know, like, I'm not a fan of FSG, but they're on there now saying that, you know, they're just doing anything to cut corners, you know, not getting Alonso and all that. How about, you know, just shut the fuck up. There we go. But we're not going to talk about them. Anyway. How does Joyce know it's 17 million? Who's told him that? There's got to be someone involved in the process, someone at Liverpool Football Club. Uh, you could say Edwards, you could say Hughes, you could say you know, Hogan, Flash Gordon, any of them. I don't know. Someone with uh, intel uh, or knowledge has told him. Uh, so anyway, I think that it's, it's worrying, I think. Uh... You use the media to gain advantage or to do if it helps you somewhere along the line. So that's something that I would remind you. Why have we been told that Alonso's out of the running? Why? Is it because they want us, you, me, to think that Alonso was not showing any real desire for the Liverpool job ahead of uh, Liverpool making an announcement somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we heard this yesterday because they've got their man. Now, some people think we got the man at the end of 2023. Some people think when the day that Jürgen announced he was leaving was when they had to get something out. I think they had to get that out then because they knew that there was going to be speculation about Liverpool speaking and making approaches and that, you know, it's going to leak. So we've got to get this out, Jürgen. I'm more inclined to believe, possibly, that we're hearing about Alonso dropping out because they've got the man and the need to create that that feeling with the fans of like, well, he, you know, he didn't want us kind of thing, you know, or Liverpool, you know, look, uh, Fabrizio Romano, Liverpool not w willing to wait anymore because your loyalty is going to be with your football club because you're going to go, nah, fuck that then. So it could be to help them, you know, bring in reverse of the Zerbi. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going around, could be, you know, whatever. whatever. Uh, that's the whole point of why we're here. And I appreciate you all. I mean, why Why did we get told about it yesterday? Uh, why did we get told about it yesterday? Another possibility, right? So, one possibility. We've been told about the Alonso stuff now because the club have secured who they, who is actually going to be the manager, right? Another possibility could be uh, the heard, who is it, uh, Balaguer, Coming out, making a bull statement that it'll be three or four weeks, and Liverpool gone fuck. We are waiting. See, we we that's what we thought was going to happen. He's his pals now backing it up. Let's move on. That could be it. Uh, or another one could be that Liverpool believe that Alonso is going to make some kind of statement today at his press conference, and the fans are going to go what the you know, and Liverpool will have already got it out there and, and softened it. What do you think? Could it be any of them? Help me out. I don't know. No idea. No idea. Oh, uh, what I would suggest is that you listen out for uh, comments from Alonso today. Sorry if it's not a good video. Uh, just wanted to explain um, who I think likes who, uh, and you know why. I, I would just the question is why? Why did we hear about Alonso yesterday? Uh, I think because something's imminent or something's done. All right, just wait a minute. Who are you? Yeah, understandable. Right. Speak to you in a bit, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate those of you that watch my videos. Thanks for those of you that take the time to thumbs up the video for my effort. Thanks to those of you that go that extra mile and, and leave a comment. Thanks to you, those of you that hit the super thanks button and, and get me a coffee from time to time. Okay. I'll speak to you in a bit, guys.